Today, I'm gonna do an unboxing. The guys at uh, Orangewood Acoustics asked if I would check one of their guitars out. And I thought, you know, this is a guitar brand that's popping up, especially seems to be embracing social media. So in other words, you're gonna see a lot of these guitars. So we are going to unbox it. So I haven't seen it. You're gonna see it when I see it. And this will be different video because a lot of times when I do videos, I spend some time with the product. I know people are probably scaring people with this knife. I'm scaring myself with it. Hey, nice and crunchy sounding already. Got this. Now I was kind of aware of some of the things about this guitar. In fact, I don't know exactly what guitar it is. I just have an idea. I think this is a solid Sudica Spruce top. There's nothing in the box. It's empty. Um, and uh, with rosewood back and sides, and that would be laminate back and sides, and of course a gig bag. So uh, let's critique everything we can. This is what the kind of concept of this company is. They're, they're trying to be an upstart company that says, hey, you can buy a guitar from us online, on Amazon, wherever, and uh, you get it, unbox it, it's fantastic. Um, obviously it's made overseas. I'm gonna guess China, could be Indonesia. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But I know the, the core of the idea is even though it's an import guitar, pretty much like every import guitar out there, um, the idea is if it's smaller volume of import guitars, they can spend more time when they land here in the US making sure they're right before they ship them out. So let's check that theory, okay? And uh, I, uh, oh, it's okay. It's got a little stick on pickguard. That's a cool, right off the bat, I'm already thinking that's cool because that means that uh, either it's a backup, which is cool, or they didn't stick it on the guitar. And I love that, by the way. I think every acoustic guitar company should do that. These are just stick on pickguards. Don't put them on because some players don't like them on already. So that's cool. Uh, of course, your uh, Allen wrench for adjustment. Hopefully you won't need that. That's it, one compartment. Um, right, right away, I'll tell you the zippers uh, feel pretty good. The quality of the gig bag seems legitimate. I would say definitely a $50, $60 gig bag for sure. Now, and to be honest with you, gig bags have kind of gotten outrageous over the last few years. So, I mean, some people will try to say this is a $70 gig bag, but me personally, I'm, I'm gonna say it's a $50, $60 gig bag. Uh, there's no extra kind of super duper extra padding. There's a, obviously a, a Velcro strap for the neck. You guys have now officially seen the guitar before me. I was right, rosewood back and sides. Uh, solid top, the top is good. Um, yes, the question is, uh, right off the bat, somebody's gonna say, hey, yeah, but they sent it to you. Do, do, do you think they sent you a better than normal one? Uh, I can only go off a of vibe. The vibe I got with them uh, was they seemed pretty on the up and up. Like, I didn't think they, they wanted any kind of trouble. You know? <laughs> like, in other words, I don't think they planned to send me a nice one. There's a chiclet pack inside. Maybe. This is gonna be fun. You guys might, you know what, I promise, I'm not even gonna edit this out. I'm gonna sit there. This is part of the experience, right? Get rid of that. Where I live, this is bad news. Uh, this is to dry the guitar out. Uh, okay. Uh, it has Ernie Ball strings on it. They're 8020s. I like phosphor bronze over 8020s, but I would be shocked to see a guitar company uh, stock uh, phosphor bronze on an acoustic guitar under $500. The reason being is uh, 8020s acoustics, which have this gold look to them versus phosphor bronze, which I think looks kind of like bronze, like a penny. Uh, I know it's a penny's copper, but you the idea is the color. Uh, they're on average a dollar more in the music store when you see the two packs of strings, same brand. So to cut costs, most manufacturers go 80-20. I can't tell you the fretboard looks, I don't know. Like I said, I've looked up nothing. I wanted to do a video where I didn't know what I was looking at. Like, you know, I wanted to have an experience. Uh, kind of looks like ebony, but doesn't. <laughs> so I'm sure when you, uh, you know, I'm sure some of you guys are looking up specs right now on the websites to find out what this is. The model is the ECHO. Echo, right? Uh, made in Indonesia. Okay, so made in Indonesia. Good good stuff coming out of Indonesia. Tuning keys are Goto copies. They got rubberized. Looks like ebony, but it's rubberized. Uh, you know, keys, they, I actually like that. I think aesthetically it looks great. Okay, we're gonna need a tuner. I'm assuming. Yep. Let's tune this sucker up.
All right, a couple things to note off the bat. I totally believe they set this guitar up. <laughs> because it is rattling something fierce. It's uh, what I call acoustic with built-in tambourine. <laughs> it's got that. And uh, so that means they probably adjusted the neck, got the action nice and low, made it perfect for somebody. And then I messed it all up by having them send it to me in Arizona and letting it sit in the box for a week or two. Uh, and uh, so it needs a quarter turn of relief. There you go, that's perfect. Hey, the tambourine's gone. So this one's like $295, so it's under $300. Solid top and a gig bag. The, the idea of the company is that they're selling you direct, there's no middleman, no, no retailers involved. Direct to consumer business model. Um, with that in play, could I say this is the best deal that you can't find a guitar this good for $300 out there uh, from a retailer? Absolutely not. Can I say this is a pretty decent representation of a good guitar for $300? I think so. There's a couple things going on with it that's really cool. First, it is a solid top. That's a nice feature. Second, it is Milliment Rosewood uh, back and sides. So obviously you could save yourself a little money if you go with the uh, mahogany back and sides. So save a little scratch that way as well. I like the gold hardware, that's a nice touch. I like these inlays, those are nice, they're different. Uh, they're ornate enough to look cool but not so crazy that I'm losing my positions and I don't know what I'm what I'm playing on the guitar um playing and playing wise it played fine obviously even out of the box without making the adjustment I thought the action was a little low but it was definitely playable um, sounds good it definitely looks good it looks really impressive in person it does look more expensive than you know just an inexpensive labeled acoustic although this is touching the $300 range 250 to 300 usually get you into acoustic that looks pretty decent but feature wise the double binding the binding around the neck the binding around the headstock the gold keys uh, rosewood back and sides, solid top the nice gig bag they do some cool stuff too every 10 of these sold they give a ukulele to a school the warranty uh well first off there was no warranty information in the gig bag something for orangewood when they watch the video consider that i have nothing to tell me hey i bought a guitar and uh i got some strings but i didn't say anything that hey i bought a guitar don't worry we got you covered uh maybe this video is for orangewood this video is for Orangewood. Um, nothing on the thing said this. Now, granted, I guess your logic is if you bought the guitar online, uh, you would know all this stuff before it got here. But people like to see that. It's a, just a card. Make a postcard. It says, hey, we give some ukuleles to kids. Your warranty is one year. We're glad you bought it. Thank you. And I'm just making sure I did not. Yeah, I'm not missing it. It's not in there. So there you have it, Orangewood Acoustic Guitars. Uh, thank you so much for checking in this video out with me today. I wanna to thank everybody at the Orangewood uh, Guitars for sending the guitar and letting me share it with you guys. Um, and especially giving us this opportunity. It's really hard for companies, I want you guys to really understand, it's really hard for companies to send products to people where they don't know what they might be saying. Um, and, uh, and I appreciate companies that are willing to take that risk because I promise nothing. That being said, thank you guys so much for your time. And until next time, Know your gear.